Good evening, this is Brass Tax. I'm Zakhar Jacob. There is now a full-blown political war between the BJP and the rest of the opposition on the inauguration of the new parliament building that will happen this Sunday. The TMC has officially become the first opposition party that will boycott the inauguration. There is serious thinking within some of the other opposition parties as well about a joint opposition boycott of the function that will happen Sunday. The question is, this is a new parliament building. It is for both the government and for the opposition. It is for elected representatives cutting across the political spectrum. This building may have been built during the Modi regime, but it is going to stand there long after Modi is gone. Why cannot the opposition join these celebrations? Because it has to be about the spirit of democracy. It has to be about the spirit of constructive opposition. Why oppose for opposition's sake? Honorable President, who is the head of the parliament, should be requested by the government to inaugurate. The Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister, has every right to be there. We are only pointing out to what is constitutionally correct. Where I remember, 87. 15 अगस्त 87 में राजीव जी जब प्रधानमंत्री थे उन्होंने पार्लियामेंट लाइब्रेरी की की ये होमवर्क करते नहीं अपना All right, let's go straight across to our talking point this evening. Joining us, Shahzad Punawala, national spokesperson of the BJP. Dr. Ajay Kumar is national spokesperson of the Congress Party. He'll be joining us in a moment. Javed Ansari, senior journalist. Riju Dutta of the TMC is also on the panel this evening. Shahzad Punawala, what the opposition is saying is two things. One, that this is a vanity project. There was no need for a new parliament building. This was a vanity project by the Prime Minister. And two, they're saying that if, in, if at all anyone should inaugurate this new building, it should be the president and not the Prime Minister. So first things first, if it was a vanity now, then how come, can you please connect the echo? It doesn't yeah, echo. Yeah, we'll, we'll fix that. Yeah, but go on. If this was a vanity in 2022, how come it was a priority in 2011-2012 where Mr. Jairam Ramesh and no less than Meera Kumar, the speaker, herself gave approval for the new building. So 2012 may priority, but now it has become vanity. So this shows the hypocrisy and Congress is the mother of hypocrisy. Now, as far as the president is concerned, first of all, on the constitutional scheme of things, let me tell you, Zaka, the president heads the executive, the legislature is parliament, the parliament is headed is by the speaker, the speaker has invited the prime minister, who also sits in parliament, the president actually doesn't sit in parliament. And if this was constitutionally incorrect, Zaka, not only the instances of prime minister Indira Gandhi and Rajiv Gandhi, who inaugurated various parliamentary institutions, but let me show you something very interesting. This is the picture of the uh, assembly of Manipur being inaugurated by whom? Not even the governor of Manipur or the chief minister, by Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. This is another interesting one. Tamil Nadu assembly, assembly, not by the governor, by Sonia Gandhi and Manmohan Singh. And this is Tripura assembly. Now pray and tell me, if the president should be inaugurating the parliament building, then how come Prime Minister Manmohan Singh was inaugurating assembly building? Shouldn't it have been the governor? But forget that also. If they have so much newfound respect for the honorable president, they should now start by saying sorry that we did not vote for her. Instead, we voted for a turncoat like Yashwan Sinha. And they must also tell us that this is the same Congress party and Ajay Kumar is joining us who called her a person, quote unquote, of evil mindset. Okay. In fact, the JMM took opposition to that. So much for the Samman for Draupadi Murmuji, they boycotted her first speech. So please, I think this newfound respect that they have, having said that, it doesn't evade the fact that Congress, every project which is done in national interest, they do a U-turn and they start opposing it, but at this time because okay. they're not getting to eat any commission out of it, so maybe that's why, or let maybe me because ask, they don't like Atman Nirmala Let me symbols. ask uh, Riju Datta as we await uh, Dr. Ajay Kumar's line to be put through. Riju Datta, today the TMC has become the first opposition party to officially say that you will not be part of the inauguration ceremony on Sunday. 
Now, I said this at the opening of my uh, show as well, that this parliament building is going to long outlast Modi. Modi, you know, is not going to be in power forever. But this parliament building is for all parliamentarians, for ruling party and for opposition. So tomorrow, those who are in opposition could be in power. Why don't you see this in the spirit of democracy, that this institution is going to far outlast individuals, and therefore when a new institution is being inaugurated, you should be part of it. Why are you boycotting it? Right. Sankar, like you rightly pointed out, it's the temple of democracy. Now, uh, if I'm not very wrong, the other two big democratic nations, like the United Kingdom of the United States, their parliaments have been standing resolute since the 1700s. So all of a sudden, the Congress before and now the BJP have wanted this. Now, when the Central Vista project started, I clearly said it and my party said it, that when it was started, it was in the midst of the COVID crisis where people were gasping for breath and dying due to lack of oxygen in Delhi. This project was being continued. Now, third point, we always believe that the president should inaugurate. Now, the counter claim that BJP said that Rajiv Gandhi opened the parliamentary yeah. library, they opened the Vidhan Sabha. Okay, if there is an annex building that the speaker can inaugurate, if there is a chai katta puri tomorrow in, inside the parliament, Shahzad can also inaugurate. But as the largest temple, as the temple of democracy, which will house the upper and the lower houses, we believe the head of the constitution, the, the president should inaugurate. This Sadat said we supported Yashwan Sina. My leader Mamta Banerjee clearly came out and said if BJP would have announced their candidate, Miss Murmu, right at the onset, we would have supported Miss Murmu. So there is no contest. No, in no, that. no, no, Riju, but, lastly, but once again, lastly, no, 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 you, 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 you are you are saying you are saying oh you opposed it uh, in 2020 when there was COVID and people were gasping for breath. That was three years ago. This is 2023, right, now, now, and, and this parliament building is probably going to be there for another 50, 60, maybe even 100 years, right? Let the question, it be there the question, the question but, then is, why are you opposing something that is going to far outlast individual political personalities who may be there uh, right now? Because, because, because it is absolutely based on fundamentals. Which prime is? Minister Modi, even though he is the Prime Minister of India, he is also the largest and the only leader of a political party that we oppose. So instead of him, I think when all the opposition parties are united and have daggers head with the BJP, who's, who is you know, spearheaded by Prime Minister Modi, rather than making it a, you know, a photo op of the BJP, might, this might have to keep politics out of it. This should have been inaugurated by the president, who is completely non-political, and there wouldn't have been any politics over it. Okay, it let, me, let me bring in Dr. Ajoy Kumar. Politics. Let me bring in Dr. Ajoy Kumar uh, of uh, the Congress. Dr. Ajoy Kumar. You, you heard from uh, Hardeep Puri, uh, the minister today, saying that, you know, in 1975, when the parliament in Exi building was open, it was opened by the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. In 1987, when the library building in parliament was opened, it was opened by the then Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. If it is kosher for two former Prime Ministers of the Congress Party to inaugurate new buildings that have come up within the parliament complex, why is it not kosher or not okay for the current Prime Minister to inaugurate uh, the new parliament building. So, Zaka, according to this logic, what you're trying to say is that the parliament is equal to a parliamentary library or a parliamentary canteen or parliamentary car park. The NXC is where you have the committee meetings is, and where the secretariat and a lot of people have offices and the CGHS. So, Hardeep Puriji is, uh, I mean, definitely uh, high, uh, highly uh, educated, but I don't know if... Uh, uh, if he's, uh, you know, he seems to be also awfully bad, uh, very badly informed. Uh, if we go on a on a TV and say these kind of things uh, tomorrow, if you are going to Zaka, there is a new uh, new sh uh, car shed being op uh, opened in the parliament. So is that equal to uh, inaugurating the parliament? The first question. So Mr. Puri is totally, you know, has just exhibited that you know when you have to. Uh, Protect Mr. Modi. You 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 should be ready to uh, go to ridiculous extent and make a mockery of your own intellect. There is no comparison between an annex or a library and the parliament. First, and my colleague was uh, speaking before uh, you had correctly said that. Look, uh, the there has been there has been history to it. Why are we? It's not a question of whether Mr. Modi whether is going to outlast anybody or not outlast anybody. 
the fact is this parliament the original parliament was based on indian architecture uh, drawn from a uh, a very well known temple in uh, morena district of madhya pradesh it was taken with with lot of indian ethos taking into consideration it's in a historical building now can you imagine the westminster abbey uh, the british parliament without westminster abbey can you imagine the us congress without the capitol hill and suddenly you said the mr trump wants to trump wanted to suddenly re, you know because he felt suddenly had this urge of after naming a stadium after himself he decided to also now make a parliament building and inaugurate it in a, uh, i mean it inaugurated no but but so, but but uh, dr ajay kumar you know the sanction for this new parliament building was given by the upa when the upa was in power jairam ramesh was the minister concerned at that time uh, mira kumar was the speaker of the house at that time so you also recognize the need that after delimitation in 2026 the strength of the lok sabha will increase the strength of the rajya sabha will increase parliament will have to seat something like 1200 mps uh you realize that as well you recognize that need yeah. and that's why when the upa2 was in power you signed off on it mr modi no, is implementing only something that you signed no. off on so there is a there is a great deal of untruth on this whole story so it's not the, the new parliament uh, the old part the uh, the existing parliament i won't call it the old parliament mm. needed considerable amount of repair work and that was under discussion that what do we need to do to to you know to to fix that issue so that was the debate and i don't know i have not seen so uh, it's like an urban legend which is going around and uh, saka it's for you and me i don't i i am quite clear that there was no there was no sign off on any kind of new parliamentary building during that period of time when uh, i was very much in the parliament at that time and i don't even remember that at all i don't see that paper at all these parties and the party guys keep so and i would like to be shahzad is paper. showing us some paper i believe it's the paper no, which shazad, has to sign shazad, off shahzad so shahzad so let me so shahzad papers are you know uh, uh, please uh, you know uh, any paper even show that is you do the research and show it to me on the tv i would be very glad to be the zaka i don't think i'm here to be i no no zaka Zaka, no, this is absolutely it, it, unfair. It, it, this attack is uncalled for. I, no, no, Zaka, I do not appreciate this kind of I you know random uh, paper, uh, open house paper, assault on I my integrity. No, Zaka, this is this is beyond this is beyond political paper. decorum. Okay. No, Zaka, I oh, think yeah. you should stop so, it. I am showing a document which is in the public domain. It is on the table of like, parliament. Zaka, Please, Zaka, Zaka I should have an opportunity to defend my honour. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. I am not stopping you from defending. I am not stopping you from defending. Zaka, you are showing a paper. Please. Mr. Now, Mr. Kumar says made. that there is no such Zaka, paper. Please let me make a few. Yeah, points. yeah. No, no. Once again, I, I just yeah, want to I clarify for our Zaka. viewers. Hey, hey, Shahzad hey, is showing Zaka. a document which he says is the UPA signing off so you take on up, on Zaka. on this new pa uh, parliament building or or to so, renovate Zaka, the existing parliament building. Once again, once again, let 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 Zaka, Shahzad now respond to that. I I also have to go to Jari Ansari. Yeah. Hey, Zaka, there is a guy who sits in your in your studio. Yeah, yeah. We will get it. We will get it checked. Yes, we will get it checked by him. लेटर बाय राधे शाह officer on special duty to honorable meena kumar 13 july 2012 i am willing to stake my political career on this if i lie about this document on your channel i promise to your audience i will not appear on any television show from now please get it checked and i'll read to you what it says the paragraph says considering or i'm reading para 2 the entire description of how old this building is by the way meera kumar said that this building was not meant for a legislature of a free democracy it was meant as an imperial building for and built in 1927 she says in para 2 the officer says considering all the above facts honorable lok sabha speaker has accorded approval for the proposal for construction of a new parliament building read my lips and if i am lying about this i am willing to quit politics if not then mr ajay kumar will apologize to me on air okay Secondly, i want to go to i want to go to sir, javed ansari also sir, one second one, one sir, second please sir, please he's been waiting very patiently sir, yeah, it's been I, I it's been 15 Zaka, minutes please. shahzad please one second yeah, one second javed ansari Zaka, no no Zaka, javed ansari Zaka, please Zaka, i'm going to javed ansari Zaka. javed ansari wait wait shahzad come Zaka, on I, is, I, you wanted to make a rebuttal you made the rebuttal now i'm going to my next panelist now javed ansari the point is the point is that 
whether there was a need for a new parliament building or whether there was no need that is not the the issue here the issue here is simply that the government of the day of course with the speaker's uh, um, permission and his authority has decided to build a new parliament building uh, the the provisions were were in motion for a number of years now and now it's time for inauguration and like i said it is a parliament building it's not it's not meant for one political party or, or or another today there is one ruling party tomorrow there could be another if the opposition and today the tmc is the first to boycott we're given to understand that the opposition is mulling a joint boycott all opposition parties are going to boycott the inauguration wouldn't that send an absolute wrong signal about democracy in india about there should be some things that are above political partisanship and the opening of a new parliament building should be one such yes zaka i agree with you wholeheartedly there are some issues which should be above politics and in an ideal world in a per perfect political world the inauguration of a new parliament building should be one such case i for one would have been very happy if the president of india had inaugurated this uh, but now the government in its wisdom has taken a, taken a position that the prime minister will inaugurate it so so be it the opposition has made made its point but i i i certainly you know this bad blood can can be avoided i do not believe that the government is breaking any rule by getting the prime minister to inaugurate it it would have been uh, propriety wise it would it would have been better if the president as the head of the state had inaugurated it primarily because the parliamentary year commences with the budget session and it's the president of india not the vice president not the prime minister not the speaker nobody else it's the president of india who addresses a joint sitting it's only the president of india who addresses a joint sitting of parliament and since this is this this grand occasion will involve uh, mps from both houses it would have been in the fitness of things but now that the government has decided i think it's it's, it's still not too late people should come to the parliamentarian should come together and okay. demonstrate that yes while we vigorously uh, manifest or give vent to our opposition to a there, there are occasions where we can even come together and this should be one such occasion dr ajay kumar on the point about you your party saying that uh, president murmu should have been the person uh, who should have inaugurated this the bjp's claim is that you know how come you have this new found love for uh, our first tribal president when she was put up as a candidate you did not support her and you in particular dr kumar had said some not particularly nice things about her during the campaign so so zaka so i want you to run that video because i take great umbrage on that i said she's a decent person the ana has got it i got it so and and i will resend it to your send me your mobile number i'll resend i know zaka have your mobile number <laughs> i said she's a, a decent person re representing an evil philosophy for that matter shahzad punawala said what not he said against mr modi during demonetization so shahzad i did a lot of homework on what all you said to mr modi so there's a lot of stuff so if you wanted to and you can run my uh, the actual recording she is a decent person and represents an evil philosophy and mr punawala is not so decent person representing an evil philosophy i said that in a previous show i'll continue to say it so this so this misquoting is 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 unfortunate and typical uh, bjp speak once i can complete dr kumar dr kumar you are a senior spokesperson let's let's refrain let's refrain from personal attacks please let's refrain from personal attacks let's refrain from personal attacks tell him to stop yeah no 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 you you can't you can't keep making these personal attacks and not expect not expect people to react please let me complete let me complete yeah yeah no no you can complete but but i i request you for the second time on the show i am not going to take please don't make these personal attacks because if you make a personal attack if you make a personal attack then you should also have the where with all to take one back you 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 will you will get it back in the same point but again can we can we can we set a Can we followers. set aside our personal shall, shall uh, sort I, of I egos here? No, once again, uh, please answer. Please answer the question I asked you. Please an an answer the question yeah, yeah. that I asked you, yeah, which yeah, is yeah, that you when pre when you when candidate when Murmu when candidate Murmu when candidate Murmu was proposed when candidate Murmu was proposed by the BJP. You know, Ajay Kumar, if I start giving you taste your medicine, you are probably not being fair. One second, yeah, guys, 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 one second, one second. Can we can we have some decorum here, please? Have fun. Can we have 
I'm telling my producers, okay, Dr. Ajay Kumar, I have a very simple question. Please answer the larger question. Please refrain from personal attacks. The simple larger question I'm asking yeah. you is okay, when, candidate, when candidate Murmu was proposed by the BJP, uh, you knew that this was a historic opportunity to elect India's first ever tribal president. You had no love loss for her then. You, when, when I mean you, I mean the Congress party and the rest of the opposition. Suddenly you are now saying that she should be the one who should inaugurate the new parliament building? So, so when, so when Meera Kumar was, uh, so my question again is, when Mr. Narayan was fighting, when he was, uh, when Mr. Narayan was uh, uh, fighting the election, the Bharatiya Janata Party supported him, is it? Because he was a scheduled caste leader. He came from the scheduled caste community. Is this, uh, is this kind of a uh, specious logic you're going to do it? And then if he was, if Mr. Modi was so concerned, why didn't he call the, uh, the then President Mr. Ramnath Govind for the inauguration? Now, this specious argument is quite interesting. Meera Kumari ji was the speaker of the Lok Sabha. Did the Bharatiya Janata Party support her? So, question is, it's a political, you, are, you, you, can't equate, you can't equate a political stand. So, with Mr. Narayan fighting the election, or Mr. Zail Singh fighting the election, did the Bharatiya Janata Party support us? Okay. So, uh, Shazad Munawala is back Zata, on the, on the show. Logic, I mean, when you, uh, when you we, extrapolate it to, when so you extrapolate the, the, it, the point being funny. made, Shazad, is you never yeah. supported the first Dalit president of India. You never supported the first Dalit speaker of uh, the, uh, the Lok Sabha. So, why should you expect the Congress to support you? Zaka, in the interest of this debate, to be fair, there are two versus one in the panel. I would request you to at least ensure that I'm not interrupted, if not insulted. Can I have that assurance from you? Because I have great regard yeah. for you, Zaka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. May I make my points? Yes. In that, yeah. Thank you. Zaka, forget Shahzad Punawala. Here is a JMM MLA who sought apology from this person, saying that his remark was derogatory. Please see this. JMM MLA. It's because it's too white. You can't see JMM MLA. I'll send you the report. Just like the report I read about Mr. Uh, Mr. Sham Rade's statement, which was OSD to Meera Kumar. See the Secondly, recording. So we did not go around calling Meera Kumar or a Zaka. Go, go on, Shazad. Go on. Go on. I'm listening to you. Go Zaka, may I please come to Yes, yes. Go on. I'm listening. Why don't you take me on the screen like you took Mr. Ajay Kumar? Why are you interrupting my ear? It's a three versus one panel. I gave you uninterrupted time. Let me know, please. It is three versus one, goddammit. Shazad. Okay. Shazad, calm down. Calm down. Go ahead, make your point. I'm listening to you. No, I'm very upset, A, with the balance of the panel, and if you won't even allow me a statement Shazad, without I'm listening being, to you, you know, I'm begging listening my to you. time. You are the only person on frame. Please calm down, have a glass of water, and make your point. Yeah. Thank you. Secondly, Zaka, so we did not go around insulting, abusing their candidates by saying that they were evil mindset. None of our allies took that umbrage. Point number one. Point number two. A point was made by my friend Riju Datta about the COVID splurge. This project, Parliament, 850 crores, went to High Court and Supreme Court. The High Court and Supreme Court fined the petitioners and said this was a project in national interest. On the other hand, there was a project being made by the MBA government, a 900 crore project, which was being done only for MLA hostel. How come Mr. Riju Datta never found any problem with that COVID splurge, which was not cleared <coughs> by any courts? Let's leave that hypocrisy aside. Thirdly, Zaka, I was very clear in my introduction. I did not talk about the annex buildings of parliament. You can't probably compare the two. I agree with you. But the assembly buildings of Tripura and Manipur are equally important in the democratic structure of the state. And they talk about federalism. So why were they being inaugurated by Prime Minister Manmohan Singh? No answer to that. Point number four. Zaka, I am a student of constitutional law. In the constitution, we envisage legislative, executive and the judiciary. Three organs of government. Now the legislature is represented by parliament, the executive is represented by the president and the council of ministers and others. The parliament is represented by the speaker, it is not the government, Javed Ansari, I have great regard for him, the government has not taken a call. The speaker's office, which is an independent institution, has taken a call to invite the prime minister, whom they feel will represent the legislature better than the president, because the president doesn't sit in the legislature. Therefore, from constitutional perspective also, this is completely proper decision. Okay. If it is not, please tell me who heads the legislature. Does the president sit in the legislature? Okay, so ja Javed, respond to that. Uh, it, it is the Speaker's office that has invited the Prime Minister and that, that is protocol. It is the Speaker who is the head of uh, the Lok Sabha and of course the Vice President is the head of the Raj Sabha. And it's in his capacity as the head of the Lok Sabha that he has invited the Prime Minister to inaugurate the new Parliament building. That's the contention by uh, Shahzad Punawala. Javed. 
Yes, so fine. I agree with Shahzad that it's the speaker. Whether it's the speaker or the vice president, the point I made was that it, in, it, it propriety-wise, it would have been better because the, it's the president of India who who addresses the, who, who addresses, he's the only person who has, has addresses the joint sitting of of parliament. Having okay. said that, if the speaker or the or the vice president or the chairperson chairman of the Rat Sabha have in their wisdom decided, fine. In the go ahead with it. There, I I I said earlier and I reiterate now. There there should be a boycott. There should not be a boycott. There are some occasions when we need to rise above. Above our political Sh ends, uh, above, Riju, above our political Riju affiliations. Data, this know, is a in, new in, parliament building which is being dedicated to if, the nation, and it it will outlive all present parliamentarians. If, all of us debating this. If, if this is if an institution, this was just a so Sarkari function, just meant for the ruling party, then there was no need for the speaker's office to extend invitations to all the leaders of the opposition parties, all the parliamentary leaders of all opposition parties have been extended an invitation. So, you know, ultimately, this is, like I said, about both ruling and opposition parties. They've all been extended an invitation. And if the heads of the opposition parties in parliament are being extended an invitation, then surely the head of the ruling party will also be extended an invitation. The prime minister is the leader of the house, in the lower house. Yeah, but there is also another upper house as well. But like I said, you know, even... Yes, upper before, house leaders, parliamentary leaders from the upper house have also all been given yes, invitations, but, but including let me, your leader. Let, let, me, let me just finish. You know, in Bengal also, there are multiple uh, places that is on inaugurated by the Honorable Chief Minister where we send our letter of invitation to the leader of the opposition. But BJP do not attend. Now, going in, not going into what about three, let me come directly to the point. The point is... I, we believe, the Trinamool Congress believes that this is nothing but a photo op for the tallest leader of BJP to show that, okay, I have built the parliament. And as simple as that, if this wouldn't have been done by the BJP, Mr. Modi wouldn't have inaugurated the parliament. The parliament would have been inaugurated by the president, then there would have been no politics over it. Yeah, but how Second can it point, be a photo op? Like, as, like Javed yeah, also said, I this parliament been, is going I'm to outlive been. every single parliamentarian. I am coming to that. Now coming to that. Now, what is the date the parliament is getting inaugurated on? Another controversial date, which is used by BJP as a propaganda. Okay. If you are so, if you have faith in the constitution, why, why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Because it, because that particular day is only and only celebrated by BJP as Sabarkar Divas. It is a fact. If you have any an, an iota of respect for democracy and independence, you could have inaugurated the parliament on 15th of August, on 14th of April, B.R. Ambedkar's Janam Divas, or on 26 November, which is the Constitution Day. Okay. But none of these dates are concerned. Now, the third point. The third point I want to mention here is when Sahizad was going on about why governors were not considered, now one of their governor, their ex-governor of Kashmir and Goa, Mr. Satyapal Malik, has clearly said in front of national television that the president's book is now controlled by the PMO. I don't know that's a fact or that's fiction, but he said it on in front of national anyway, that, that's, so that's a, that's, so, that's a, so no, no, that's, that's a relatively PMO less good point, but uh, I, think, I think, okay, on the point that you made about the date that was chosen, Shahzad responded. Uh, not just the TMC, I think uh, Congress has also made this a point that why the hurry to inaugurate this on 28th uh, uh, May, which is Savarkar Divas, and only the BJP celebrates Savarkar Divas. Surely you could have waited for Independence Day or for 14th April, it's which is Ambedkar Jayanti, Constitution Day on the 26th That's of November. A... Yeah, please respond, Shazad. The date has been chosen by the Honorable Speaker. And having said that, is Uddhav Sena with us? Please do ask Uddhav Sena. If the birth date of Veer Savarkarji is, is important for them or not, please ask Indira Gandhiji who wrote glorious letter for Savarkarji, Yashwant Rao Chavanji, Sharad Pawarji. In fact, Sharad Pawarji even chastised the Congress on Savarkar's contributions. Please ask them and in fact, even the communist like Mr. Dange had praised him. So let's not get into that. Secondly, please ask uh, Mr. Riju Datta if he's so caring about protocol 
Here is a picture of Mamta Banerjee not even giving the basic protocol to Jagdeem Dhankar and not receiving him when she was the chief minister and he was the governor. So they should be the last people talking about pro propriety and protocol. And my dear friend Javed Ansari ji, whom I regard a lot because I've learned a lot from him when I was in Congress and he was covering Congress beat. Sir, you are talking about propriety. That is a subjective issue. I quoted constitution, which is an objective issue. But sir, with all due respect and regard, here is the opposition, including TMC, if I believe, if I'm correct, they boycotted first speech of Murmuji. First speech of Murmuji. First Adivasi woman president giving her first speech. It was boycotted by these people. Now they are suddenly pretending to have respect and propriety and protocol. Do you buy this argument? And sir, I ask you with beseeching and folding hands, that how come Manmohan Singh was inaugurating the assembly buildings? Okay. What protocol or constitution? So let me ask uh, Dr. Ajay Kumar that and I'll, I'll wrap up after that. Uh, Dr. Ajay Kumar, when Manmohan Singh was Prime Minister, he inaugurated the new Manipur Assembly Complex. Uh, both him and Sonia Gandhi inaugurated the uh, uh, Tamil Nadu Assembly Complex. So for then Prime Ministers to be inaugurating assembly complexes is fine. But for the current Prime Minister to inaugurate the new Parliament building is a crime? First question is, if I remember, there are three, four points and I would like you to give me some time. First of all, on the invitation of the government of Manipur and the invitation of the Tamil Nadu government, the invitation of the state government, so there was a rule. I don't know, the Lok Sabha invited the Prime Minister to inaugurate it, I'm not sure uh, who invited whom, but any of the invitations for the inauguration of Manipur and Tamil Nadu came from the respective state assembly and the governments. Now that's point number one. Point number two is the issue is fundamentally, you know, this, if there's so much uh, they want, if they are pretending that you know uh, we are showing false uh, what you call outrage with uh, with the not calling the president, we are saying that the president is the only person who can summon the parliament. Your all the MPs get an individual warrant to attend the first session of the parliament every year. The the only person who can prorogue the uh, the uh, the, uh, the dissolve the parliament as the president of India and that's why the president of India should be the person who should be inaugurating and she represents neither the Lok Sabha or the Rajya Sabha, she represents the council, she's the head of the council of ministers and that's why she would have been the most appropriate pick because it's not a Lok Sabha or Rajya Sabha issue. Okay. The second issue which is most important is that everybody wants to, you see a piece of history, the British should seem to know it, the French know it, okay, the Canadians seem to know it, the Americans seem to know it. But some or the other, they're building a new building, and I was trying to see the, uh, so the issue is to the history of the Indian democracy and continues to cherish your history. They keep saying we don't, uh, you know, uh, we are for uh, India's history, India's history and all, and this is what. The third important thing is, I keep searching for the, uh, the facts which uh, my colleague uh, from the Bhatia Janata Party said. I was Googling it because fortunately even I have a 4G connection. Uh, uh, some people think I don't have it, so I just wanted to, so the search says that there was no doc, there was no paper which Meera Kumari formally wrote, and I need to, you to, and your research team can, you know, do a good work on that. So that's the third issue. The fourth most important point is, Zaka, Zaka, Zaka the, was her OSP Apart from the constitution, once I let me come, see, can I, can I complete, please, some, please, see, please again, Zaka, I it. cannot get into a discussion Zaka, where I there is such ill-mannered people on a debate. Domain. No, so I don't, the, I, the Zaka, question, I, I refuse question, to speak. The question I refuse to speak asked, because I'm not going to attend asked. any debates with this gentleman no, no, because sir, it, it's question, ridiculous. Sir, 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 one second. It's really ridiculous. Sir, one second. I didn't interrupt him when he was speaking. Why does he keep behaving so I'm asking you a question. The question was, No. did this then speaker... Dr. Meera Kumar's OSD write to her, quoting her, saying that there is a desperate need for a new parliament building. So I'm trying to search for that, and there's a fact like that. So I'm not able to see it. If, look, if Meera Kumar, if the uh, then speaker Meera Kumar wrote a letter, I am quoting somebody who said Meera Kumar said, is not, is he once again, can I complete it, Madam? I was, I Zaka, I cannot, I tell well, you now. One second, one second. let him make his point. You're not allowing him to make his point. Let him make his point. There is an epidemic of, you know, there is, I mean, it's, Answer the question, Dr. Kumar. It's absolutely, it's absolutely, you know, in bad taste. Please show respect. I don't interrupt you. Please let me uh, complete. Yeah, I'm listening to you. Please, please answer. The fourth point, my, my, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Zaka. And and uh, and and I told you uh, it would be good to research that and show me a paper. And the fourth point is the migrant labors during the COVID time 
and the construction and the activities. Everybody went home and the migrant laborers were bought in the construction started, whatever be the period. It was during the worst period of COVID. Everything was set aside on this construction and Prime Minister decided to uh, do it as a, as a pet project, etc., etc. But our fundamental issue is, and this is the most important, our issue is that the Indian, the, the constituent assembly sat there. It is, it, is the, it is the fulcrum of the Indian constitution. The history of the Indian constitution. Could that building continue? Why, why doesn't the Americans could find a way to do it? The Britishers have found a way to do it. The French have found a way to do it. The Canadians have found a way. The Brit Everybody in the world has found a way to do it. So why can't, why can't, why couldn't we do it? Okay. All right. That I'm, going to, I'm going to wrap up. I'm issue. completely out of time. Uh, like I said, uh, I believe that there are certain things that are above politics. The inauguration of a new parliament but building, which is going to outlast, as Javed Ansari rightly said, every single parliamentarian uh, who is sitting in that building right now. Uh, if we can't put our differences aside for that and come together in the spirit but of democracy, in the spirit of constructive opposition, then I'm afraid I don't know what uh, is going to help us uh, bridge our differences. But anyway, let's move.